There goes everything on the shelves. Another earthquake rocks the heartland. A trio of them near Oklahoma City recently, the strongest 4.5 in magnitude. Let's take a look at what's going on here. Are these earthquakes connected to these kinds of big drills and operations all over Texas and Oklahoma? Well, before 2009, there were virtually no earthquakes in Oklahoma above a 3.0. Today, not only are the quakes setting records, they happen on average twice a day. When we visited this rig last year, we heard from the oil company CEO who runs it, Breitling Energy's Chris Faulkner. I think it's pretty early in the game to, set, to blame fracking or to blame the oil industry. But one of Oklahoma's top geologists has studied the numbers. What we're seeing is completely unprecedented. Here's the science. When you drill for oil or gas, that's not all that comes up. There's all this junk that you don't need. The industry calls it wastewater. You have to pump that stuff back down into the earth. It lubricates sleeping fault lines and causes them to move. That is an earthquake. And we certainly have cases where we've identified earthquakes being caused by oil and gas activity. That fluid can essentially lubricate the fault enough that the faults, that these old faults slip a little bit. This week, two of the sites where oil companies pump their wastewater back into the ground are shut down. Another is running at 50% according to the Oklahoma Corporation Commission. That's not good for business. So back at the drill, in one of the most honest exchanges I have ever heard from the oil industry on this earthquake issue, the CEO of this $400 million company told me, basically, earthquakes may be something Oklahoma has to live with. Take a listen. There's plenty of low-hanging fruit in the United States. The trouble these states have today is there's a quick to pass judgment and to ban fracking or to ban drilling. All they're harming is the state for the tax revenue and the local landowners who are lucky enough to have us out here drilling on their land, their checks dry up. That's who loses. We still can drill on somewhere else. Tough talk as the ground continues to shake here in Oklahoma. Dave Malkoff, The Weather Channel.